So we have picked the windiest day I want to do this buddy roof. He's up there, fuming, fuming with life. I'm going up there to support, help him out. I bet my face says it all, doesn't it? Eh? Face kind of says it all. That's why I didn't film this bit from the beginning because it looks not too windy here, but on the top of the roof there, I nearly swore then. It's windy, it's like windy. <laughs> you try putting 12 meters of uh, 1.5 wide breather membrane up and insulation in the wind and it's uh, a bloody nightmare. But done. I hurt my foot as well, I sort of slipped off the bloody rung of the ladder because down the back side it's a bit muddy and I slipped and I've, I've not broke it but hurt your foot badly. It's hurting. You gotta really you gotta really look after yourself around here, aren't you? There's uh, yeah, a lot injured. of accidents on farms. Mm. It's not the prettiest breather membrane I've ever done, but <laughs> here, it'll do the trick. It'll do. It'll do. As you can see, I'll probably get a drone to shot. You can see it flipping a bit, but yes, it was bloody hell. So I'm waiting for the truck to come. Bring me some more. <coughs> bring some more bands. You don't need to do it on this bit, but it's 1.5 wide, so I might as well. And it's going to act as our temporary shelter anyway, underneath there. So it can stay on. I'm not bothered. It's only a membrane. It's going to have tin, you see, come come right to the edge. But I think I better get off back down to the uh, back down to the sawmill and get me um, 5v1 for the fascia. Yeah. So, cracking on with the roof, regardless of the weather. You can see it coming from over here. See, there's a bit of blue there, so it's good, but yeah. Luckily, you can see the storms coming in. So, last night, was it last night? It was dark. I was putting these bits of uh, fascia on, on the sides here. Um, finished off the little, the barge boards basically, but this is the, this is the section of death. Down the back here. This is the problem I'm having. You see the floor? It's trying to get your ladder's footed in an appropriate position. That's how I've ended up falling off the well, the ladder twisted on me. So I have to be careful. So I've got a bit of trimming to do around these. Let's move on in. A bit of trimming to do around these windows so that we can introduce the the edge in. I'll show you a bit more on the front. But yeah, main mission just this second is to get this existing 32 foot length of fascia up and in position because then I have the tin I've only got X amount of tin left of I made a mistake of how much I actually needed I need probably double <laughs> what I needed um, but we can work that one out I've got the stuff for the uh, for the deck here I have some more timber I oh, have another two spars that go in there I'd, I've already done that up here on the on the temporary shelter but the overhang is quite big as well, so that will be getting nipped back because I'm going to put a four inch gutter on there. If there is bigger, I'll keep it, but that's a full 10 foot sheet, you see. But yeah, get rid of these steps because these were just when we didn't have any of this. And I'm actually going to put some sleep. We'll use the sleepers, get my big chop saw out, not my mini one, and do some, uh, I don't know, I'll make it up. But while it's not chucking it down, I'm going to get up there and just get this fascia board on. I think I've got nine pieces of tin that I can put on today. And then, yeah, we've got to start looking at the at the fire. We've got the fire down here. I'm going to unearth it. It's in there. Look at that. Okay, proper. Well, it's not for lack of trying today, but the rain is just relentless. I think there's even rain on there screen is there I think yeah it's uh just keeps raining I've managed to get the back up we'll just dart out in the rain I've got a 50 inch piece to go up still this is my problem you see you can't get the bloody ladder in a good position I've got that last piece to put on um, 
probably not as straight as I'd like. Oh, struggled so much down that back with not having a, um, a secure footing with the ladder. It's to tell you the truth, I think it's a bit of a goddamn death trap. But I have achieved. I've had to. It's taken me. I mean, what are we on? One o'clock. It's taken me. It would usually take me less than an hour that to do do that length of face. It's taken me about five hours because it's just so difficult. And, I've, re I've moved some battens as well on the roof ready to take the panels but so I think I'm going to put this last little 50 inch piece on and then I'm going to get I'm going to get inside because we'd still need the log burner in and there's never going to be a right time to uh, move the gas fire and put the log burner in it's set now let's start taking things apart Becky's moving some stuff out of the way so yeah let's start the machine with the log burner because it is cold in the morning we haven't got the money for the cladding um, just yet, we do a bit more work and uh, yeah, bit by bit, but I can't just keep going in this rain, it's nonsense. where the log burner is going to go and <laughs> I think I don't know if I've mentioned but we've got loads of stuff oh that was all kept in this corner um, home ed stuff all that kind of bits and bobs printer so all this has got to be moved and found a new home for so that we can pull that out and put the log burner in that is the plan so yeah there we go a before photo. <laughs> now it's absolutely chucking it down. And we've sort of achieved outside for today. I'm going to take this out. Just like any, this is a prefabricated bonanza that you get anywhere. Pop these off, screws behind them, screw them out. It's just into the wall, there must be a patrus in the wall. And then that whole unit will just come off. Take this off, no doubt the top lift off, take this unit out. And then have we got, um, we're going to move the sockets, move that mirror, and then move the sockets to there. And then we've got hardy backer board going. It's four foot, it's a four foot square. So this whole area is going to be hardy backer board. And then we have concrete slabs for the floor. And I'll just cut them and shape them. And then, and then we've got the basis for the, the fire. It's only small, so it's going to go here. And then the flue up and out the ceiling there. If anybody ever wanted to see what was behind a fire in a static, there's nothing, as you can see, there's nothing, there's nothing to the flue. But as the flue comes down, obviously the pipe there, that micro ball goes onto a 15 mil. So there'll be a compression fitting on there, but look at this. I don't know if I, I don't even know if I can get into it. Can you see it? How the, uh, the flue has actually burnt a hole right through the wall where it's just been just the just the pressure of the pipe, you know, just pressing pressing on the wall. You'll be able to see it more tomorrow. It's moved. Shunted across. TV aerial. They're easy enough, they're just plastic sockets as you can see. And there's plenty of flack on that, so I just need to do a little hole tomorrow with my multi-tool. Fish something through. There doesn't seem much to the wall. I mean look at that, it's polystyrene. It's just a, bit, a tiny bit of polystyrene there and that you can feel it here that is that's windy blasting in I'll have to pack that with a sock or something tonight and there's a metal and that's it there's the outside skin oh, <laughs> cold it is it's freezing yeah Oof. like an ice cube coldest night so far it's going to be tomorrow night Friday night yeah so if we can get this in <laughs> that's tomorrow the mission. The mission that'd be amazing is to get it in there. I can see the burn. Mad that, isn't it? A whole hole. That is uh, 
Yeah, not good, is it? No. <laughs> Crikey. We got my drill. Everything near me. You know what I'm like. It's absolutely hoofing it down out there. But this is it. Hardy backboard. Bit sticky on. Decent sticky as well. We've got fire cement for all the joints and everything. It's Rebecca's got a tile, I think. And it's as simple as this. Let's line them up. Voila. And that's it. Screw it on. I'm just using the counter sink. A metal one at that. Because Hardy Backer will blunt everything you've got, especially cutting it. I'm actually cutting it with a 9 inch grinder with a diamond disc. It's the only way. <laughs> Remember trying to cut it with a handsaw, just laughs at you. Yeah, you keep the flue out of the way. God, it's so, it's so dense this stuff isn't it, it's so heavy. Oh dear, we can do something that's cool. down here and we'll have a little piece of maybe 10 inches of um, 5 inch flue and then the, the entire lot up and out is twin wall so it should be okay then I've seen other people put log burners in with less you know with less fire protection but I want more fire protection well can you believe that Rebecca's been to just a local merchant from us just to get another board hardy backer board because we thought well we might as well just continue it all the way up to the ceiling um because if we are going to tile it it's going to be much easier to do it on that um, and do it now rather than later plus it's it's, uh, it's extra safety as well because it's, it's hardy backer board but it'll still be safe well rebecca's just been in some fellas just been in and bought all 20 just bought the whole pallet a four foot by four foot hardy backer boards and even the fella said what is the likelihood of that we want one and someone's just been in and bought 20. so anyway it's not it won't affect anything today the sun's come out but there's some dark clouds i don't think i'm going to empty open the roof i'll i'll get the fire in i'll, I'll put the heat plate in the ceiling in the bracket get everything ready just for the flue installation but i have put some extra supports under the floor this was uh, quite tricky and i've just got quite wet but I don't know if it's that come out of the camera. See into the box, the box section there of the chassis. There's the gas pipe, the 4 by 2 And then obviously that goes over the top of this box section there. So I mean, it's like 100 kg this thing. But there we go. Compression fitting on. And then I just thought, I don't know if anyone uses this stuff, leak detection spray. Give that a good, good hammer in there, probably all over the camera. And as we can see, we have no leaks, which is great. So the structural floor, gas is capped off. We can put the flags inside now. It's definitely a, just bear, you know, just, just bear with me while well, I just have a good look at this. The gas is on, like I say, there's no leaks. It's uh we're lucky actually because this van is actually from Scotland so they have different plumbing fittings here but I did have in my kit um, a 15 mil compression fitting only one so yeah it's like I was meant to be here so that's that bit done another piece of the puzzle done well that's them the flags are in we need two more and we'll put one there and then I'll, I'll cut one and angle it to that point there so I'll just go ahead now and uh, cut the carpet out and then the uh, we can fit them and then literally the log burner's going in the log burner's going in <laughs> exciting it is you're right uh -huh. okay oh. Woo. Ah, 
trying to get it level. Quite fit. It's this. <laughs> oh. It's in. So that's how it's going to be this evening. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we tried as much weather as we had and. The weather was too bad to I've really. I've never fitted one of these before. And Done really well. Everything's all good to go though for tomorrow. So as long as it's not raining, that flu will be up and out. So only we would wake up on the coldest day of the year so far with no heating and run out of power overnight. <laughs> so can't even put Look. the diesel heater on this morning. Yeah, I don't know if we can even see that. <laughs> it's cold. It's freezing. This is a matter of survival now, getting this on today. <laughs> I've never done this before, by the way. This is the first time I've ever fitted this blue, so this isn't a tuition video, you know. I'm making this up as I go along, but I've watched a lot of videos, I've spoken to a lot of different, two different shops, and they've advised me on the correct manner to do it, under the circumstances. And this is actually a, a caravan kit. This isn't just a, uh, it's sold as a caravan kit, you know, for these types of ceilings. So, it's as safe as can be. But, and I forgot to show that you put the, uh, Plate in. Oh yeah, That's the plate, done. plates on, bolted on, screwed a hole in the ceiling. Left me 50 mil around, so it's all good. I think this is it. Up she blows. Here we are in the misty morning. Just me and the sheep. They're all wondering what's that crazy man doing. But you can see the, uh, you can see the frost now. It's probably doing me a favour and not running in on me while I'm trying to do it. It's yeah cold and covered in silicon but there we go <coughs> there's the uh the manifold section on for the uh the twin wall so we are three foot above apparently that was the right bit here we go the crowning the crowning piece slip it in well big the moment it is a big moment <laughs> the mo moment we've been waiting for <laughs> Work. Are we all gonna choke? <laughs> I think I might tighten some of the bands up again a little bit. Oh. I think overall, there's no smoke coming out of the flip, so. Fingers crossed. Well done that. Isabel. Done really well Sam. <laughs> Proud of you. Smashed it. <laughs> Keep our eye on it for a second, just let it let it cook up. Hmm? Yay. It's a big tidy up now. <laughs> yeah. A big tidy up and an haircut and a shave maybe. Because I am having a day off tomorrow. I am doing nout. Day off. Yeah, a bit of work for the local contractors on Monday. So put all my tools away, get everything in order, and have a chill. And we will see you next week. Jobs are good. <laughs>